Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. Uh, Tony Torrance here. We're going to tie a jig style Frenchie. I have a TMC 7, or excuse me, C400 BL in the vise in a size 14 and a slotted copper tungsten bead uh, in 1 8. Now this might be a little bit big uh, traditionally for this size of hook, but I'm going to use this fly in fairly quick pocket water and I want to get it down. So I'm going to add about six wraps. See, there's six, yeah, roughly six um, wraps of 0 0.015 lead. Get that all pinched up in there. And then I have uh, some Vivas 10O fluorescent orange thread, and I'm going to lock down my lead right in place. Let me get this little piece tagged down here. Get that locked down. You only want a few wraps because your thorax will be in here and you want to keep the weight on the forward side of the hook so that uh, the jig fly rides level. Um, next I'm going to tie in some Coke de Leon um, tail fibers. Traditionally use pheasant tail but it's just not as durable and this gives more of a mayfly looking tail about the length of the shank of the hook and I'm only going to wrap this up to the lead because I want to keep the body symmetry kind of even so I've got that in there now I'm going to use a little small copper wire get that wrapped in I'm only going to do a couple wraps to lock it down and then I'm going to add some pheasant tail fibers and just a half a dozen fibers is enough. I'll line this up and then trim off the fine tips and continue my wrapping back securing the wire and the pheasant tail at the same time until I get to where I want the fly to end. And then I'll try to do this without excuse me without uh, breaking any fibers but we're going to wrap our pheasant tail forward to create our abdomen. I'm going to take this all the way up to the bead. Snip that off and then I'm going to counter rib going over the pheasant tail the opposite way so that I lock those fibers down and if a fish tooth happens to scrape across the pheasant tail then it won't uh, tear the fly to shreds. Now commonly what we're doing with these jig nymphs in, in our area is we are uh, running them under a hopper dropper with a chubby Chernobyl or something along that lines in fairly quick uh, water, lots of boulders or uh, heavy riffles when the uh, summer progresses and those fish are hanging in that bubbly water for the oxygen. Now the thorax is composed of uh, ice dub UV shrimp and we're just going to coat this thread with this dubbing a little bit just to make a thorax. You don't need too much of a bump but you do want a defined thorax on this fly. Slide that up against there. And then wrap my thread in behind. You want the thread to show a little bit. So I'm going to do a couple whip finishes on here and build up this orange thread. So that I've got a bit of a hot spot. Also you can see the orange when you fish these. Um, you can see the orange through the uh, dubbing as it gets picked out and fished a bit. So up one little fiber here. This will all get picked out as it's fished and, and look quite buggy. And there you have the uh, jig style Frenchy Nymph. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.